So uh, today we just just got in from uh, from Orange County. Just got checked into our hotel. Right now we're about to go head to Whole Foods, uh, get some stuff uh, that my nutritionist uh, asked me to get, and uh, then we'll head to Mikey's to get some training in. It's it's ADCC week. It's fight week. Felt I had uh, the the best preparation I, I could for this event. There's nothing I would change or or feel like I, I didn't get enough of. Weight is good, jujitsu feels good, mine, mine feels right, and uh, just ready to let the, the work show. This has been a tournament that I've been looking forward to since I was a kid. As soon as I turned 15 and was able to do, do the trials, I wanted to do it as soon as possible. So I accomplished that goal of, uh, of winning at 16, which was the earliest I could do it, and uh, set the record there, and this weekend I'm looking to set another record. So usually, uh, usually whenever I go to travel, my nutritionist uh, Natalia Shantu, she sends a, she'll send a list of stuff that I need to buy uh, whenever I get here. So Whole Foods is usually the, the the stop that we that we go to right away as soon as we get here. So probably pick up some uh, some snacks for the tournament, some fruits, uh, just some stuff that I uh, I couldn't bring from back home. I like cold stuff, so like fruit, juices, but a lot of grape juice. I like grape juice, coconut water, everything that's like refreshing is, is what I like. I ate a lot of acai in this camp too, that was good too. Loading up on the harvest. What a good. How's it going? How you doing? Good to see you. Nice seeing you. Good to see you. How are you? Fale. Darth Rigatoni. Is that your guy's garage? Yes. Nice. This is cool. Uh, what's this, MMA Mikey or what? My dad loves that stuff. One. <laughs> One FC. Yeah. How's Singapore? Good, dude. Good. I've been home for like two months now. That's cool. It's been awesome being home. Nice. But uh, I go back in two weeks. Nice. I'm I like see. Right now. I see Coco right. stories and stuff yeah. all the time. It's me and him there training every that's, day. That's funny. Yeah. That's awesome. Whatever you guys want to do, you want to drill, you want to use sauna, whatever you guys Sounds want to good. do. Do you mind if I, you have you have a microwave, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I heat up some food? Of course, quick? dude. All right, thank you. Just want to tell you, this is not the kitchen. Okay, this is not a new look. Mm -hmm. okay, we're having the doors redone. It kind of is a new look. It's a new style. Hey, I call it easy access. That's what I call it. Training with the future ADCC champ, it's good. <laughs> he's gonna win this weekend. Just seeing how he's drilling right now, he's so sharp and like fast, like his timing, his movements, like he has everything ready, you know? Like I really see him winning this category. My goal this weekend is to hit one Mikey Luck. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's, an, it's an honor getting to train with him and getting to train with a, with a fellow American who's after. America. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he showed me before uh, the Mikey Luck, like he's, He's come into to Orange County before to compete, and he asked me last minute if he could drill at his house, get some drilling in, and like I'm trying. It was right whenever the whole Mikey Mikey Lock uh, wave was was uh, was going on, and I was like, oh man, you got to show me this. And uh, right now, he was just showing me uh, some of his favorite entries to do it. Uh, that's what we just went over. For sure, training with like the highest level of people definitely helps you before competing. I'm competing in two weeks, so getting to train with Cole, the best guy in 145. Uh, it's really good for me also, you know, so we're both getting ready for our competitions. Now it's just uh, finishing up the last adjustments, making sure the weight's right, and I'm feeling 100%, and then uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'll go in and, and let my work do its job, so I want people to expect the best of me, and uh, and that's that's for sure what you guys will see this weekend, so it'll be the, the best version of myself uh, uh, in competition, and uh, I think that'll be, a, that'll be enough to, to win. Oh, just going, just going. It makes it look really cool, the inference. I would say we're chilling, but we're doing the opposite, right? <laughs> but what I'm telling you, yeah, you're really cool.
So it's Wednesday. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Thomas and Mack Center. We are here at the venue. This is, uh, we're looking at the open. This is going to be the setup for the open. Insane, 1,200 competitors coming in from all over the world, you know, from Canada, Brazil. But it's just going to be something like we've never experienced before. ADCC's never actually ever had like a huge open tournament. And it's kind of always been a dream to see ADCC kind of take things to the next level. And look at it, we're here, we're in Vegas, baby. My expectations for this weekend is, is that this is history in the making. There's two uh, chapters that ADCC will have in the books when it started, 98, with the Chic Talk Noon, and here this weekend in Vegas, Mo Jassim bringing it with his team to Las Vegas, making it not only the biggest ADCC of all time, but if you look at the history books of jiu-jitsu and grappling, this is the biggest jiu-jitsu grappling event in the history of our sport. So this is gonna be something like we've never experienced before. We have a huge stage, crazy setup. We got the lights, we got everything going on. It's Vegas, we have the best fighters in the world. We have the greatest super fight of all time. I, I just can't wait to see this all roll out. If you're a fan of Jiu Jitsu, what else are you doing this weekend? This is not just a great event. This is the greatest event of all grappling history. You cannot call yourself a grappling fan. You cannot call yourself a jiu-jitsu fan if you can't say that you watch this event.